hey guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to talk little bit about the github okay so i was just going through the comment section and uh, since i have made a lot of videos related to the code i see a lot of people asking about uh, can you please share the code okay so i thought uh, i can take this opportunity to tell you guys how you can export your code to the github because uh, inside github if you don't know you can create the repository it can be a public repository or it can be a private repository okay so i'm just going to show you how you can create a repository so the first thing is you need to create an account uh, in github okay so since i already have created the account so i can uh, go to the sign in uh, button else you can go to the sign up okay so let's go to the sign in and let me sign in to my uh, github account so i have signed it to this github account okay then what i will do is i will go to my account and then i will go to repositories okay so I'm just going to show you how you can create a repository. Okay, so you can create a repository from here also, but uh, I am going to show you how you can create a repository from the Visual Studio itself. Okay, so if you see as of now, I do have two repository, but those are private repository. So not everybody can access this repository. Okay, so as of now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a public repository. Okay, and then I'm going to show you guys how the code will look like in the GitHub. Okay, just notice this bottom part. Okay, so. Uh, these are the incoming outgoing changes and this is number of pending changes i have so this is showing because i already have connected this to a repository okay but for you if you have not connected with any of the repository if you have not created any of the repository for you it will look like this okay what you have to do here is you have to just click on this one add to source control okay so you need to open this git and then here you have to connect with your github account okay so if you already connected with github account that's fine else you can click on this option github account and then it will try to connect okay so since i already have this account right github uh, account with this ingenious desk i'm going to use it so now as i already told you in the beginning right so you can create the repository from the github directly or you can create from the visual studio okay so this is the repository name it is suggesting you based on your solution name okay but uh, let me just uh, update it little bit okay so i can write pankaj and then description you can write the description but that's not mandatory but uh, let's write the description as this is demo for creation of repo okay and then uh first i will tell you how you can create the private repository okay so this is going to create the repository as well as it is going to post the code okay so as of now if you see i do have only two repositories okay so once i create the repository from the visual studio you'll be able to see the third repository here also right so then you need to click on this create and post so it will create the repository and it will push it to the github after it pushes the code to the github you will be getting the icon like this okay so this is your uh, incoming outgoing changes okay and then this is your local changes okay so as of now you do not have any pending changes so this is showing like this so if i if i do something like this okay so it will show you the change here okay so this is your change so in this file we have done some change right so if you see this is the comparison we have added some space here okay so that's fine it has created the repository let's go to the github and try to refresh the page so we are into our github page okay let me refresh this page so if you see here we have the repository created okay so this is the name i gave there right so if you open it you will be seeing the code base here okay so whatever the code uh, we have there if you want to share the code with someone else you need to just copy the link okay so what will happen now if you copy the link and share to someone will they able to open this code base no because this repository is private okay so let's go to the different account and try to open this repository okay obviously this is a private so we'll not be able to open it so here we are so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just paste the link of uh, the github repository okay so if you see this is showing not found okay but what will happen once we make this repository as public so everybody can access it okay so let me show you how you can make your repository as public so here we are in the uh, repository okay so you need to go to the settings and inside the settings uh, you can do this so you can either change the repository name and there are these properties okay so you can change the visibility so as of now my repository is private right so i want to make it to the public so change to the public 
okay i have read and understand this effects make this repository public okay so done my repository is public so now anybody can access it okay so let me go to that browser and let me refresh that page so now you'll be able to see that uh, code base so here we are right so if i refresh this page i'm going to see the code base because i have made the repository as public even if i'm not signing to this github i can see this repository right so that is what uh, guys i had to explain so if you need some further session on github regarding how you can check in how you can uh, clone the repository and other stuff then please do let me know in the comment box so milte hain next video mein till then bye bye